Google, play an autumn playlist. Sure, here's a playlist on Spotify called Autumn Acoustic. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is the most ultimate coziest autumn night routine. This is my typical nightly routine, especially when Tom is away. So the first step is to light all my candles. This one is my favorite autumn harvest by Sand and Fog. You can pick it up from TK Maxx, it smells divine. This autumnal recipe book is another favorite of mine that I recently thrifted, apple pie, yum. Not on tonight's menu. Tonight I wanted to make myself a nice wholesome soup. So I went with carrot and coriander and fresh crusty bread. Just hold me now. I want to be so much better whenever you're around. I want to say something clever to get it. I like to switch off and actually just enjoy my food without any social media, especially as it is my job. Sometimes it's very hard to switch off in an evening. Um, once I've had my dinner, I will clean and tidy up the kitchen so it's nice and neat and organized for the following day. top tip of mine would be to spray down all the surfaces with my Zaflora spray and then fill the sink with a undiluted cap full of uh, Zaflora. I went with warm cinnamon today because it is very seasonally appropriate and it just smells amazing. I top it up with hot water and the entire kitchen is essentially steamed with warm cinnamon which smells fab. So I recently picked up this new jersey duvet set from B&M and let me tell you we've had a couple of nights already sleeping in this and it's a game changer. We love linen bedding which we recently discovered but jersey when it is particularly cold is a new favourite. So even though I am gonna be getting into bed soon, I still like to make it. I don't like getting into an unmade bed. So I do make the bed again and I change the sheets, I'd say every week or two. And then it is time for skincare. So I'm gonna head on into the bathroom and start by cleansing my face. I'll firstly throw up my hair in somewhat of a messy bun so it is all off my face before going in with a micellar water and then I'm going to show you my Foreo Luna 3 which I absolutely love. I've been using it now for a couple of months and it's really made a difference to my skin. I feel like I get a real deep cleanse when I use the Foreo Luna 3. So the initial cleanse is to get the majority bulk of the makeup off and then I use my Elemis cleansing balm to remove the rest of my makeup using the Foreo device. You can switch it on at the back or use the app. It uses smart technology and connects to your phone, which I think is so with the times today and really something that I just appreciate. Now I'm going to go on to a new toy that I recently discovered. This is the UFO Smart Mask. Again, it connects with your phone and I'm going to use the Call It A Night treatment, but they do have a variety you can purchase from their website. I'll leave a link below in the description box if you wanted to check it out yourself. It uses light technology, as you can see. Once it's connected to your phone, it talks you through how to connect the mask to the device. You then simply follow the instructions, they voice it to you and play some nice spa music. So I'll leave you with this so you can have an idea as to how it works. 
Use a circular motion as you gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. Take a few slow, deep breaths and allow yourself to relax. As you drift into a state of total relaxation, red LED lights revitalize your skin, leaving it softer, smoother, and more supple. T-Sonic pulsations blend with red LED light to boost blood circulation and restore skin elasticity for a more luminous appearance. You're coming to the end of your treatment. Take a few more seconds to relax and enjoy and prepare to feel refreshed. Your Smart Mask Treatment is now complete. So now that my face has had a lovely treatment, I really feel like I've been to the spa when I use the UFO mask. And now it is time for a little pamper and relax in the bath. I like to use a lot of bubble bath, especially when it's not hair wash day like today. And I also throw in a lush bath bomb of which I've recently purchased two. But before we do that, I head back down into the kitchen and make myself a nice hot drink. I've gone with Horlicks tonight with it being a nighttime routine and sort of prepping myself for bedtime. I love a Horlicks. Um, but otherwise I would have maybe a coffee if it was in the morning time or a ginger tea. And I go into my favorite treat jar. I always have this out all year round, but especially at Halloween time, I love to fill it with seasonal treats. And now I will show you the two Lush Bath Bombs I've got here. Turmeric Latte smells incredible, but I'm going with the other one tonight because I love the color of it and it has a bit of glitter in there too. And then I also just add my body wash, shaver and a magazine and a sponge to my bath tray, which I got from Ikea if you were interested. Look at the colors of this. It smells incredible, leaves your skin super, super soft. I would highly recommend you check out the new autumnal scents in Lush. I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did, but I promise dear I never Now it's time for a post bath skincare routine. I start with an eye cream and also a moisturizer. Both of these are from Kiehl's. I will leave links to everything I can below. I also like to moisturize my body. This one smells incredible. And then I also like to finish with a lip balm. This one is from Clarence. I wanna say something. And now it's time to get into my comfies. This misguided knit set is just divine. I like to put on a set like this before my pajamas and I don't put on my pajamas until I get into bed because I like to wear shorts. So for now, I want to put on my slippers, my comfy uh, clothes that are gonna keep me nice and warm and cozy downstairs whilst I sit back, relax, watch some TV. In this case, Friends was on, but I decided to switch to Netflix and choose a seasonal movie of which I found Casper. Who remembers Casper? It was one of my favorite films growing up. So I'm gonna sit back and watch Casper and then head off to bed whilst I get into my pajamas, clean my teeth, say good night. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more routines like this, do let me know. I hope you enjoyed it, thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for my next video and I hope to see you all then. Bye guys.